Hello, I'm Sujata from CBSC NEET JEE Chemistry dot in. In this video, we will learn how to apply the concept of nucleophilic substitution reactions involving allylic halides. You will see this question and its variations in many exams and understanding this will give you a definite advantage. Which of the following is not the product of the given equation? Okay, so what is the given equation? We have a substrate which is an alkyl halide, right? Subjected to hydrolysis in the presence of silver ions. Four options have been given A, B, C, D. Out of the four options, three are relevant products of this reaction. You have to identify that product which will not be formed in this reaction. Okay, let's analyze this substrate first and then proceed with the reaction. You have a look at this particular substrate. It is an alkyl halide, but the interesting feature of this particular alkyl halide is that the halogen bromine is bonded to an sp3 carbon CH2 which in turn is bonded to a carbon-carbon double bond. In other words, you have the substrate here which is an allylic halide which has a lot of significant features. Let's now analyze this question. So we have the allylic bromide here. Okay? Now, when this bromine is lost as Br- in this manner, you will get the corresponding allylic carbocation. And this allylic carbocation is a primary allylic carbocation. Right? To this allylic carbocation, the nucleophile OH- will be attracted to give you this particular product which corresponds to option A. In other words, option A will be an answer, will be a significant product, a relevant product for this reaction. So that is not the correct answer to this question. Okay, next. Now, the allylic carbocations you know can be stabilized by resonance. So what is the resonance structure of this allylic carbocation? And that is obtained by the shift of this pi bond to this particular position. So now you have a double bond CH2. Now because of the shift of this pi bond, this carbon atom acquires a positive charge. Now what is special about this carbon atom? This particular carbon atom on which you have a positive charge is a CH plus. And that carbon atom is again bonded to a carbon-carbon double bond. So this again is a sp a CH plus. So this is a secondary allylic carbocation which is more stable compared to a primary allylic carbocation. Now the attachment of the nucleophile OH- minus to this position will result in the formation of this product which is option D. So option D is ruled out. Okay. Now this particular car the positive charge here can be further spread out delocalized by the shift of this pi bond to this position as a result of which this position, this carbon atom acquires a positive charge. You focus on this carbon atom. This carbon atom with a positive charge is again bonded to a carbon-carbon double bond. So it's a tertiary allylic carbocation because on this positive carbon there are no hydrogens. All these are carbon atoms. So you have a more stable tertiary allylic carbocation and the attachment of the OH- to this positive carbon will produce option C. Alright? So the relevant products of this reaction are options A, D and C. So what is the correct answer? B is the correct answer. B, the option B, the compound corresponding to option B is not produced during this reaction. So here option B would be the correct answer. It is not the product of this particular reaction. We have over 230 videos with in-depth explanation of concepts in an easy and lucid manner in our organic chemistry course. Moreover, 
we have close to 400 videos of solutions to every kind of question that can be asked in any exam. Click the link in our description below to check out our course. Subscribe to our channel to regularly get new content to help you score high marks in chemistry.